the chickadoos are at it again. Hi guys, it's Linda from the chickadoos. Yes, I got my kitty with me. This is Heartache. She's from Two Kitties in the City right now. She kind of won't let my uh, art stuff alone that I'm trying to show you guys. So I'm going to give you a little preview of my artwork that I've been doing. Um, I still have so much imagination left in my brain that I have so much more to put down on canvas. Uh, be good, little girl. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you closer. I'm gonna start with this piece right here. All right, give me just a moment. Here is my kitty, I mean my cat uh, painting or montage to kitty cats. Um, this one right here actually looks like Artie. This black one up here in circle looks like heartache. And so does this uh, neon, I think it's orange red. That's also to Artie. The fun thing that I had with this is I'm going to turn off the lights. I have a black light that I'm going to be showing you. I had to get a more powerful light so I no longer have those little tap ones. So this will be showing on there. I'm going to turn on the lights. Let's take a look at my artwork. I love how it glows under the black light. I found it to be quite beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get the next piece. Let me turn on the light here. I'm gonna get the next piece and switch them out. Be right back. Dr. Penguin has been my BFF since college. I have a best friend in Oregon. Uh, we've always called her Penguin, but ever since she got her doctorate, not her PhD, but her doctorate, I've always called her Dr. Penguin. It's kind of like a um, best friend joke, as you wanna say. And as you can see, <laughs> this is clearly penguins and they absolutely love how I did it all. Except that one I think looks a little funny, but that's okay, you know? I'm, I'm fine with that. And yeah, that's supposed to be a cloud, but it looks like a duck. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna turn off the uh, light again and use my black light. And I can't remember if I use any glow in the dark or any uh, neon colors. So let's take a look. Oh, I did look at that glow in the dark. Isn't that kind of fancy dancy? Very intriguing. Sorry if I spoiled your painting, Dr. Penguin, but I know you'll love it. Now to switch out paintings, I'll be right back. This is for Sean's family. Here I found out that uh, Sean's uh, family likes swans. So this is what popped out of my head uh, as I was uh, making the swans. Um, I used extraordinarily bright colors, uh, as you can see, neon colors and stuff like that. And this is one of the biggest things why I'm getting the black light out. Okay, let me turn off the light and show you the black light. And this is what it looks like under the black light. Oh my gosh. To me, this is one of the more phenomenal pictures of it I've ever painted. Okay, let me turn on the light. All right, I'm gonna switch out uh, the paintings again, show you my next painting. For Tammy, who gave me the idea to start the chickadoos. Who lives in Pacifica. Hi, Tammy, um, who absolutely loves wolves. So I came up with this. Um, yes, I did use some stencils and a whole lot of imagination with everything else. Yeah. And I did use some neon colors in here, so I'm gonna turn off the light to show you what it looks like. <laughs> I 
That looks incredible. All right, I'm gonna switch to my next picture. For my BFF from high school, Sal Pal. At about this time, I started watching a YouTube uh, instructor by the name of Joni Young, who has now become one of my famous uh, artists because she gives explicit uh, tutorials. By the way, not sponsored. I just absolutely love her work and her explanation. Usually uh, I like Thomas Kincaid, but this was me actually trying to create this myself. I call this um, cloud ribbon over waterfall. And again, I use neon colors, something that'd be outstanding that a black light could pick up. Let me turn off the light and show you. Clouds end up looking like a mountain is so gorgeous. Ah, oh, so fascinating. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And this is where I learned how to do waterfalls was from Joni Young. She was actually an amazing instructor. You can see the rocks, you know, they, they look like rocks, looks like a waterfall. You know, in in oh to Joni Young, she loved stairs. <laughs> Let me get the next uh, picture. Special thanks for Sean's orchid. Here is a hummingbird. Um, I tried to follow a tutorial of Joni Young's, but I decided to kind of make up my own. Uh, some of the reflections that you're seeing there are actually bubbles. I'm going to try and get this high enough so you, you don't have to see the glare. Um, and those aren't grapes. They were supposed to be flowers, but apparently I didn't make them right. So I did. this painting was actually painted under uh, half the time of black and white because of what I was doing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the light so you can see it under the black light. Give me a second here. You see, I got the black light on. You see how, oh, oh, so beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, Sean was incredibly kind to me and gave me an orchid for Valentine's Day and it was actually a special orchid. The orchid was a pansy orchid that had an, a phenomenal smell. Um, so I had to absolutely incorporate it into uh, my painting. And Sean likes uh, hummingbirds and I had several pictures to reference and he chose something similar to this. I used it only as a reference because I did change it up because I had trouble trying to figure out, you know, the wings and the tail and, and how, to, how to make it, you know, look like feathers. And, and then after watching a couple of Joni Young's uh, tutorials, it helped me a lot, very much a lot. And, and I couldn't believe how phenomenal this came out. And Joni Young, I absolutely want to thank you for your YouTube of exactly uh, how you give instructions. And yes, your voice is a lot like ASMR. I do like listening to your tutorials because it does help me not only calm down but it also helps me refocus in painting and stuff that I actually want to do. All right, thank you so much. This is Linda from um, the Chickadoos. And until you see me in the next painting, I will talk to you later. Bye.